Hello everyone. Uh, title of our work in progress is Do Women Have Capacity to Consent in an Obstetric Emergency? It involves women in labor who develop some complications and need to go to theater for an obstetric emergency. Uh, due to the nature of obstetric emergencies, such as fear for fetal well-being or severe pain in labor or a use of strong opiates or just too overwhelming a situation, uh, capacity in these women may be severely impaired. And most importantly, time taken to formally consent a patient in certain obstetric emergencies may seriously compromise fetal outcome. And consent taken while a patient lacks capacity is invalid and is illegal. We have therefore designed a two-phase research project. Phase one is a retrospective assessment uh, investigation of maternal capacity, uh, trying to measure the magnitude of this problem. And phase two is a randomized control trial investigating whether prior uh, detailed information uh, improves their later on decision making ability when an emergency does occur. Till date, the only valid tool uh, uh, available for, to assess capacity is MacArthur's, uh, which can only be used uh, for capacity assessments at the time of decision making and it could not be used for the purpose of our study as it can uh, um, usually take 30 minutes to 40 minutes uh, to assess capacity. Where, therefore, we have designed our own tool called RCAT, which stands for Retrospective Capacity Assessment Tool, and we have used it on 30 patients in our trial. Our uh, message to others is that there is an urgent need to assess, uh, to address the issue of capacity in obstetric emergencies. And according to Mental Capacity Act 2005, England and Wales, um, all measures should be taken to uh, um, improve capacity in a patient and where it is not possible or, and a patient is assessed to be lacking capacity, a decision can be made there in their best interest. Thank you very much.